Hi everyone, Letty here from Party Planner Papery. I have hashtag N2S Rustic Blooms. This is the quarterly release from Not Too Shabby. Today we have a quick little craft with me where we make four cards from one kit. Welcome back everyone. So today I have the new quarterly release from the Not Too Shabby Shop. I do have a website affiliate link that I'll link down in the description box below. So this is the quarterly release and so it is called Rustic Blooms. Here is the six by six paper pad. You get 24 designs, six by six sheets of paper, 24 total sheets. They are double sided so you'll get each pattern twice the front and the back. So here's just what each of the, the different patterns looks like. You have different like wood grains and lots of florals. You've got some gingham um, and then some other little designs as well. Lots of really pretty fun spring colors. So again, double-sided 24 total sheets with 24 total designs. And this is again called Rustic Blooms. Then we have a coordinating ephemera pack called Carts of Flowers. It's really cute. Lots of butterflies, carts of flowers, and then lots of carts with little either floral images or little uh, critters inside of them. So here's a still shot of what comes in that ephemera pack as well. Then we have the stamp set. This is called Blooming Sentiments. And so this is the stamp set. Lots of really great sentiments on this one. And there likely is a coordinating die set. I don't have it here to show you, but there probably is one. You'll definitely want to check it out on the website. So Blooming Sentiments. Then there is the Hello with the Shadow die. So Not Too Shabby has started to design these. I am absolutely loving this. And so I will use this for today's project, Hello with Shadow. Then we have Enamel Dots, and I am a huge fan of these. So this one's called Rustic Blossoms. Really fun. These are glitter enamel dots. So those will coordinate perfectly with our collection. And then Jamie threw in a button this this collection or this for this quarter. I th think it's super, super cute. So really cute coordinates with the overall quarterly release, again, called Rustic Blooms. And so again, I'll have that website affiliate link down in the description box below. Let's dive into today's project. Let me first show you the items that I've made so far with this quarterly release. I did a set of cards where I tried to stretch my stash and gave you some tips on that. And then I did the May sheet load of cards. So both of these videos were from last month. I'll try to link them down in the description box below. So today's project is four cards from one kit. So I've already cut and prepped everything to make four cards. You see everything's falling apart here, but I've already cut and prepped everything. I've already added glossy accents to my ephemera pieces. I already have my die cuts circles. I have some scallop circles that are going to go behind my white die cut circles, leaving just a small little scallop border. And then I have my sentiments already stamped out. These are from the stamp set. And then I have a paper mat five by three and three quarters. This is the double sided paper from the paper pad. And then a cardstock mat that's five and a quarter by four inches. You see here, this is where I punched out that scallop circle. This was just one of my previous tips on making your cardstock stretch or your supply stretch. I'm going to layer the cardstock. You can't even really see it. Uh, because I just made sure to leave at least an eighth of a border all the way around. And so that is one of the little tips and tricks there is you can definitely make that cardstock stretch by die cutting or punching out your uh, scalloped images. So you see here I laid up both of the images I layered them and you really can't even tell that there was a big hole right there. And normally I would put a little bit of excess uh, scrap to kind of cover that hole, but because I'm layering so many layers on the front, I figured it would be okay. And so I've added my sentiment. I'm gonna go ahead and lay down the scallop circle combo. And then the last step is just gonna be to add this little piece of ephemera. Again, I've already added glossy accents to it just to make it shine in some little specific areas. And that's our card number one. So super, super cute, super easy as well. Now we're taking it up a notch with this one. I did bring in some, some circles as well. I have a different little sentiment here and a piece of ephemera. The one thing that I did different on this one was I cut my mat into two. So I brought in two different pieces of scrap strips and I sort of just matted them together to cover this hole from the cardstock um, that I punched out that scallop circle and I'm just gonna lay them together. You could easily do two cards with that one mat and then just cut it in half and mix and match your patterns just like this. Next I'm going to go ahead and layer up my circles. You see there I'm just using my scrap cardstock for this. Um, I had already printed on the back of that but I'm going to go ahead and just layer them up and then I will add it to the top of my card here. I decide to kind of go sort of catty corner so I'm going to do the sentiment on the left and the layered circles on the right hand side. And then the last step will be just to go ahead and add my piece of ephemera. And again, I've already added those uh, the glossy accents to it. So just to kind of make it shiny, that's card number two. 
just as quick and easy as the first one. Now onto the third one. I'm gonna be utilizing my scrap strips on this one. So I have some sets of circles again, a piece of ephemera with already glossy accents. Look at that, how cute that is. And then I have some little butterflies. I've already added glossy accents to those as well. And then um, I have a sentiment on a little strip here. And then I had these scrap strips left over from the other patterns when I was making the other mats. So what I decided to do was just gonna go ahead and layer them on the front of this one. So I'm gonna start by adding my cardstock mat to the front of my card base, just like I did on all the other two cards I've done so far. I'm gonna layer up a full size paper mat right on top of that just like this, leaving a small little 1 8 border. Now for these strips, these were again, the scraps that I had left over whenever I had cut the other mats for my other cards. I decided I would just go ahead and layer them on the top of this one, just to kind of mix up the pattern. So I'm gonna put the smallest one at the very top and then layer up the other sections down below. Next, I'll go ahead and layer up my circles again. And you see here, I'm just using sort of some circles, some die cut circles and some scallop circles. Again, that scalloped I punched out of my cardstock mat. Um, and then I'm gonna lay the sentiment down towards the bottom, glue on the set of layered circles towards the top and the center, and then finish it off with the ephemera pieces. I'm gonna add the larger piece into the center of the circles and then finish it off with a few little butterflies around this sort of center section. So just super, super easy. I thought the three little butterflies looked totally cute on this. This was card number three. So now onto card number four, this is our final card. I did use the layering uh, standalone die on this one. So what I did was I cut that mat, but then I had that scrap strip on the side. So I went ahead and cut the background out of that extra section. That was one of the tips I shared in the previous video. I have these layered circles again, one of which came from my cardstock. I have a piece of ephemera and then as well as another set of three butterflies that I'll layer just like I did the last time. I had this extra little scrap on the side. So what I did was I figured I would layer it on the front let's start by gluing that cardstock mat to the front of our card and again if you did not have as many layers as I'm doing you could absolutely put a little piece of scrap paper right in the center of that uh, maybe some scrap white cardstock or something uh, just to kind of make it flush but because I am adding so many layers I just felt like it just did not need it in this instance so I'm gonna layer up my circles I've already glued that extra little strip to the side and then I'm just sort of auditioning where I'm gonna lay everything out so I'm adding my circle and then I'm gonna go ahead and drop down the ephemera piece first and then layer up that hello right on top now what i love about this die this hello die is that you could add an extra little sentiment uh, to go along with this message so you could say like hello and then have a nice day or hello you know missing you or something like that um so that's card number four with the cute little butterflies now i've done four cards the last step i'll do is add some enamel dots and then we'll do come back for a final recap Okay, so to recap, we have the newest quarterly release from the Not Too Shabby Shop. It comes with a paper pad, it comes with a pack of ephemera, a stamp that does have a coordinating die that you can select, and then a pack of enamel dots, a standalone die, and then a button as well. Super, super cute. And again, this is the quarterly release, the newest release from the Not Too Shabby Shop. It released on May 15th. Today's project was four cards from one kit. We finished these off together today. I did add those enamel dots off camera, but I did assemble the rest of these cards on camera with you today. So you see here we've got four different sort of layouts. Some are very similar, definitely some similar elements like the layered circles. Uh, I did utilize some of my scrap strips on these and then I also was able to use that standalone hello die. So again four cards from one kit. This was the quarterly release from the Not Too Shabby Shop. I believe she still has the I Want It All bundle in the shop. I'll leave my website affiliate link down below in case you do want to purchase that and you can also check out my my previous videos i'll also link them down below or check out hashtag n2s rustic blooms to get more inspiration from the entire design team making projects last month and this month using this quarterly release so again i'll link all of that down below if i can i'll link some additional videos here that you might be interested in i hope you got some inspiration today and as always happy crafting